Steve. Hello, everybody. My name is Narissa Cosgrove and I work in the Arts Office of Cavan County Council with Rhonda Tidy and Katrina O'Reilly. We hope you're all staying safe during this time. Hopefully you have enjoyed the previous video commissioned by the Arts Office with artist Tom Meskell and his two children, Laurie and Paddy. Have you created a lantern? Is it brightening up a corner of your home? In this video, we'll explore some more fun, easy ideas on how you can create further lanterns for your garden or to gift to a neighbour. If you'd like to share your work with us, you can email it to artsoffice at calvincoco.ie and we will share it on our website and on our social media. We hope you all stay safe, take it easy, toga boogie. Hello everybody, my name's Tom, this is Paddy, my son, and we're stuck at home like everybody else. And we're coming up with things to do, aren't we, Paddy? Yes. So, um, more lanterns. Do I make a lot of lanterns? Yes, you make too many. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're making more and uh, we're using things that you find around the house. What are some of the materials we're using today, Paddy? We're using cardboard, paper and glue sticks. We'll go through it fairly quickly. This is the basic shape. I'm looking for a template I had. Oh, here we go. So we're going to make this template first out of your standard paper. How I've got the size for this, I've used the bottom edge of the paper. So that gives us one edge. I've got the paper and I've folded it in two. So I've got a line up the middle of the paper. I'm going to measure this bottom edge, which is 21 centimeters do you agree mr yes. paddy yes i do <laughs> <laughs> and then we measure 21 centimeters from the corner of the page up along that middle line and that gives us the same same size basically you do the same on that side draw around it cut it out and then for the internal shape i'm measuring it here it's two and a half centimeters and we'll we'll draw that around and cut it out so you have this shape after you have this shape draw it onto cardboard using this to guide you cut out your cardboard triangle like this um with the internal shape now we're going to cut that out so how I do it is I kind of punch the scissors through and go right up the middle and then I'm going to the centre of the shape and I'm going to the kind of the, the corners of the triangle. In a way this is the most important bit because you're making the main part. So you see the way I'm kind of chipping away at it nearly there. So you can see I'm kind of coming at it from bits and pieces and kind of slowly getting my internal shape of a triangle. Okay, so we're going to need four of these and then we're going to need one of these and the size for this is that 21 centimeters on each edge and we're going to make a square. So that's all our main parts, one square and four equilateral triangles. We're gonna to have to stick these together. I'll get you to help me here, Paddy. Yes. So I'm going to get my, now just hang on a sec, we'll do the, the glue in a minute. We're gonna lay it out. It has to be in a certain shape for it, in order for it to come together as a pyramid. So we need one, two, three, and then one more. So Paddy, before we do that, I'd like you to get this tape and to put tape onto each edge like this. Okay. Keep them nice and tight together. Okay. Okay, while Paddy's doing that, I'll show you the next thing we're getting ready for. This is tin foil cut into strips. The reason we're using this, guys, is that I mentioned in the last video, tin foil is great for making lanterns from the point of view that it completely blocks light. So, um, in this instance, I'm going to put it on these seams that Paddy's doing and uh, it'll stop the light coming through those edges. The next thing I'd like you to do, Paddy, is to put um, Pritt stick or that glue stick. Do you have glue stick? Great. Yes. <laughs> so put it along the tape join. 
This is to glue on the tin foil. Pop your tin foil down right on the edge. Now, next job. So we have our um, lantern shape, but now we need the windows um, for the lantern. So to do the windows of the lantern, um, we get this shape, we draw it onto the normal uh, photocopy paper or the um, computer paper. Paddy's done these already. Now, and we're going to get a glue stick and put it onto each piece. Okay, and Paddy, will you colour in that one to your final one? And Paddy's using oil pastels to do these designs. Now, I've just noticed the mistake I've done. It's good for you guys to see this. But we'll put the image facing inwards and you'll see the reason for that. Like the light will come through it, but it looks kind of nicer in the daytime when you can't see the image. You get a nice surprise. So I've turned these around. The Pritt Sticks allows you to redo it if, if you're quick about it. Now, and, and Paddy's design have a, have a bottom edge, so I'm making sure that that design is going to end up on the bottom edge of the lantern. This is like the sunset design. You can make it whatever way you want it. This is just my idea. <laughs> yeah, it's great. So I'm going to get the scissors and we're going to cut this one out. That's great, Paddy. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, what age group do you think would be good for this lantern, Paddy? I would personally say that it would be good from 8 to 10. Wait, that's the wrong way. Oh, good <laughs> job. Thank you. So glad you're here. Good job. You see? He's, he's, he's earning his supper. <laughs> okay. So, now we're going to do the final edge. So, you can see this all looks plain from this side. So to do the final edge, I'll get my tape again. He loves it. I do love that tape, don't I? I use an awful lot of masking tape in making lanterns. Okay, we bring it over. Now, what I'm going to do is we could easily run the glue along here and then put another piece of tin foil so we seal that edge. But I'm, I'm not going to do that because I want you to see what it looks like when you don't do the edge. And then you may want to make a feature of that or make it look nice in some way. Okay? Now the final part. Now as you see we've painted these black. This one is still brown. You could leave it like that. You could paint it any colour you want. Um, I'm going to use the sellotape because it's a little less obvious looking and I'm running the sellotape to show you here guys along this edge so that's like our hinge to the door now now it looks finished but we've got one more important job to do so you can see this opens, but you can also see it's quite wobbly. Now, so our last job, I've made these brackets. See those, Paddy? Ooh. And now they're right angles. It's very important. And they'll fit in here, and then that will stop it wobbling. So we'll use clear sellotape because it's much stronger, or not stronger, but be less obvious. I'm just going to run it along the edge. Do the same with the other one. Now, there we go, son. Thank you. That's great. So that should, uh, you know, steady it up a good bit. Now, so here we go. These are battery powered fairy lights. Uh, they're really easy to get. They're really good value. They go in there. 
Now you can't see much because it's daytime. <laughs> so ah. <laughs> by the miracle of video, we will be back in the night time in two seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paddy, <laughs> you've got very tall. It is now night time. And we're going to see what the lantern looks like in the dark. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh. <laughs> see, like that. Yes. So you can see, guys, the designs Paddy did. You can see the colours coming through. Um, now, those edges now look really dark because of our tin foil. And just to show you this edge here, this is the one we didn't do. So that kind of looks. The, the light leaks out of it a bit more. Okay, have fun with this. You can try all different variations of this design using cardboard and paper and light. So we're looking forward to see what you come up with. Say bye bye, Paddy. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye, everybody.